Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will delve into the world of combat sports and explore the winning strategies employed by successful boxers and mixed martial artists. Through an in-depth analysis and case study, we will uncover the key elements that make these fighters successful. So join us as we break down actual fight strategies, tactics, and techniques and learn how they can be applied to your training and performance. So if you are passionate about combat sports and want to take your skills to the next level, this video is a must watch. But before we dive into the world of winning strategies, let's first understand what makes a successful boxer or MMA fighter. It's not just about raw talent and physical strength. It is also about mental preparation, discipline, and a well-crafted game plan. Successful fighters understand the importance of analyzing their opponents, identifying their strengths and weaknesses, and devising a strategy to exploit those weaknesses. Now let's move on to our first case study, the legendary boxing match between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. Ali, known for his lightning-fast footwork and agility, faced Foreman, a powerhouse with incredible punching power. Ali's winning strategy was to tire out Foreman by utilizing a technique called the rope-a-dope. By leaning against the ropes and allowing Foreman to punch, Ali conserved energy while wearing down his opponent. In the eighth round, Ali seized the opportunity and delivered a knockout blow. This fight exemplifies the importance of strategy and adapting to your opponent's strengths. Next, let's shift our focus to the world of MMA and examine the fight between Conor McGregor and Jose Aldo. McGregor, known for his precision striking and psychological warfare, faced Aldo, an undefeated champion renowned for his lightning-fast knockout power. McGregor's winning strategy was to get inside Aldo's head and provoke him disrupting his mental game. In just 13 seconds, McGregor landed a left-hand counter that knocked Aldo out, securing the fastest knockout in UFC title fight history. This fight showcases the significance of mental preparation and exploiting psychological vulnerabilities. Moving forward, it is crucial to highlight the importance of training and adapting your strategy. And one fighter who embodies this philosophy is Anderson Silva, a legendary MMA fighter. Silva was known for his innovative striking techniques and unorthodox movements. His fight against Forrest Griffin demonstrated his ability to adapt his strategy on the fly. Silva capitalized on Griffin's aggressive approach by baiting him into attacking and then swiftly countering with precise strikes. The fight teaches us the value of adaptability and intelligent decision-making during combat. Demetrius Johnson, also known as Mighty Mouse, showcased the art of dominance in the flyweight division of MMA over Timothy Elliott. Johnson's strategy was built on his extraordinary speed, technical prowess, and adaptability. He seamlessly transitioned between striking, takedowns, and submissions, overwhelming his opponent with relentless pressure and precision. Johnson's ability to control the pace of the fight and exploit his opponent's weaknesses established him as one of the most dominant champions in MMA history. So now that we have explored these fascinating case studies, let's discuss some general winning strategies that can be applied in both boxing and MMA. These include effective footwork and movement, creating angles to attack, maintaining distance, utilizing feints and fakes, employing efficient defense techniques, and capitalizing on openings. Understanding and mastering these strategies can significantly enhance your chances of success in combat sports. It's essential to train consistently, hone your technical skills, and develop a deep understanding of your strengths and weaknesses. Additionally, studying the fight styles of successful fighters can provide valuable insights and inspiration for your training. Footwork is the foundation of movement in MMA. It allows fighters to control the distance, create angles to attack, and evade their opponent's strikes. So let's explore some winning strategies related to footwork and angles. Maintaining distance is a crucial aspect of footwork in MMA. Fighters must find the optimal range where they can strike effectively while minimizing the risk of getting hit. By using quick lateral movement, circling, and subtle weight shifts, fighters can control the engagement distance and dictate the pace of the fight. In addition to footwork, effective utilization of feints, fakes, and efficient defense techniques can give fighters a significant advantage in the octagon. Feints and fakes can be used to create openings, bait opponents into making mistakes, or disrupt their rhythm. 
By convincingly feinting a strike or a takedown attempt, fighters can provoke reactions that can be exploited with a well-timed counter or a change in attack strategy. Recognizing and capitalizing on openings is another fundamental strategy that can greatly impact the outcome of a fight. It requires a keen eye, impeccable timing, and the ability to exploit your opponent's mistakes. Defense is just as important as offense in MMA. Employing efficient defense techniques allows fighters to evade strikes, absorb minimal damage, and counterattack effectively. Slipping, parrying, and blocking are fundamental defensive techniques that help fighters avoid or minimize the impact of incoming strikes. By using proper head movement, shoulder rolls, and well-timed blocks, fighters can slip punches, deflect kicks, and mitigate the effectiveness of their opponent's attacks. In the midst of combat, there are fleeting moments when your opponent exposes vulnerabilities or leaves themselves open to attack. These openings can manifest as slight hesitations, defensive lapses, or even subtle changes in body language. A skilled fighter knows how to read these cues and react accordingly. Understanding when and how to strike, counter, or exploit your opponent's mistake can be a game changer. It's not just about throwing punches or executing techniques randomly but rather being calculated and strategic in your approach by patiently waiting for the right moment and then capitalizing on it with precision. You can turn the tide of the fight in your favor. Now, the ability to react swiftly and decisively is essential to seize those critical moments. It requires a combination of anticipation, technical skill, and mental acuity. When an opening presents itself, you must trust your instincts and execute your chosen technique with confidence and accuracy. Combat sports are dynamic and unpredictable, creating an environment where fighters must constantly adapt to changing circumstances. The ability to adjust your strategy, game plan, and techniques on the fly is a vital skill that separates the great from the good. In the heat of battle, unexpected situations arise. Your opponent may counter your initial approach or employ a new tactic. It is in these moments that adaptability becomes crucial. Successful fighters possess the flexibility to quickly assess the situation, identify weaknesses, and modify their strategy accordingly. In addition to technical skills and strategy, mental preparedness plays a crucial role in achieving victory. Building mental resilience, maintaining focus during high-pressure situations, and visualizing success are all integral parts of a winning mindset. Many successful fighters attribute their triumphs not only to physical abilities, but also to their mental strength and unwavering belief in their capabilities. To summarize, by delving into the analysis of successful boxing and MMA fight plans, one can uncover a wealth of invaluable lessons on strategy, adaptability, and mental preparation. Through a comprehensive study of real-life case studies, individuals can acquire a profound understanding of the intricate tactics employed by legendary fighters allowing for a deeper insight into the art of combat sports. It is crucial to acknowledge that triumph within the confines of the ring or the octagon is not solely dependent on physical prowess. Rather, it is the result of strategic decision-making and the unwavering mental fortitude exhibited by the fighters. So thank you for joining us today as we explored winning strategies in combat sports. We hope that you found this video informative and inspiring. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content on combat sports and training. Remember, success in the ring starts with a well-crafted game plan and the determination to never give up. Keep training, keep learning, and keep fighting. Until next time.